Well, good morning, folks. Welcome to Hot Rod Power Tour 2024, day two. Uh, you joined me here in Nashville, Tennessee. I uh, pushed it on through the night to get down here from Bowling Green. That's Nashville behind me. You joined me in my hotel. I currently have absolutely no power, which is super sweet. Um, I'm in the middle of trying to get my video uploaded for the day one, and uh, it's a problem when you have no power. So that's how I'm starting my day. Also, I may or may not have had some little multi-legged critters in my room last night, which was disturbing. Unfortunately, I didn't really have any options, and I was very tired, so... What did I just capture that was crawling across my bed? That's kind of disgusting. And worrisome. Is that another one? What the hell, man? Yeah, we're just gonna pretend like that didn't happen. Um, today, short drive. Uh, I'm I am in downtown Nashville. Uh, Broadway is literally just like right there. Uh, I had a very late night. Went out and enjoyed myself in downtown Nashville. Don't need to talk about that. And uh, it's uh, about 10 o'clock in the morning at this point, and I'm not sure when my internet's gonna come back up. Hopefully soon. I think our power just came back on. Maybe. Yes, power just came back on. So, uh, I'm going to get this video finished off being uploaded, and then I've got a shower, you're ready to go, and then I've got a... My goodness, people are enjoying themselves out here this morning. Uh, I've got a pretty short drive to Nashville. Now, most of you guys are going to be taking the drive down from Bowling Green to Nashville, um, so you're going to be rolling into town about the same time that I am. Um, I skipped that phase for a number of different reasons. So... Um, don't know how much of the drive I will share with you guys. It should be a pretty reasonably boring drive, but I will share what I can. Uh, and then we'll get to Nashville Super Speedway and we'll see what the lines are going to be, which is truly the big test, I think, of this entire year is going to be Nashville. Because previously, in 22, Nashville was a nightmare. So, we'll see. I'm going to get ready. See you guys in a little bit. Four minutes into this upload being done, and the internet drops. Unbelievable. Little black truck is doing just fine. Sitting here relaxing all night. Got a belly full of fuel, so we should be able to get to the track without a problem. For those of you who haven't seen it, 1991 GMC Cyclone, all original. We just rolled over 29,200 miles late last night, and we're ready for some more. Hot Rod Power Tour 2024. Let's do day two. Everything copacetic. get to the speedway see how this traffic situation works out today also just an FYI I did stay in downtown Nashville last night so I have to deal with downtown Nashville traffic which is less than fantastic so we'll see at least one nice person good old southern hospitality as soon as I try to get on the highway Just try to get out of downtown I don't want to be stuck in traffic the whole way. I will say though, for those of you who uh, who have never been in Nashville, uh, un unfortunately the the vast majority of people are going to be staying east of Nashville. They've never done the whole downtown Nashville thing. Uh, fantastic city, like absolutely fantastic city. Nightlife here is fantastic. The food here is fantastic. The, the, it, it's just a wonderful, wonderful city. Uh, it has become kind of the bachelorette capital of the world. Which is interesting. Last night was fun. Uh, I was out on Broadway for a while and had a good time. Um, bachelorettes everywhere. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. Doesn't matter what day it is. It's a thing. Okay. Start this day off stuck in traffic. Great. Great.
In 1,000 feet, merge onto I-40 East, I-65 South. Yeah, I'm trying to. There's a 12-minute slowdown on I-40 East in 0.25 miles. You're yes. on the fastest route. However, traffic in Nashville can suck. So, you know, that's great. <laughs> Just trying to get the speedway. Okay, I may have made some slightly aggressive moves to get out of here. Uh, this is where 40 and 65 split. Uh, most everybody's trying to go 65 south towards Huntsville. I'm just trying to go east, so I'm gonna go east. Use the second from the left lane. This is gonna be my view all the way there. I know it. Fortunately, it's another absolutely gorgeous day. Nashville is perfect. It's like probably 82 or so. Mid 80s, low 80s, somewhere in that range. Very comfortable, I like it. Much better than the 100 and, I think it was 102, 104, something like that when we were in Nashville on 22. It was insane. Uh, I believe it set a record or came damn close. It was, we were slow roasting for sure. So I know invariably the question is gonna be, well, Austin, why didn't you leave earlier? Why are you getting stuck in traffic? Well, the answer is because I had to deal with hotel problems. Uh, the place that I chose to stay, which I've stayed at this brand of hotels numerous times before, uh, didn't go well. Creepy crawly things and disgusting stuff. Um, and it took all day to figure this out and how to resolve our problem because there basically are no hotel rooms available. So um, I have been dealing with that all day. So I apologize for everybody who's hoping to see me today. I may not even make it there before the venue closes, to be quite honest with you. I don't know. We'll see. This could be a very short and very boring Hot Rod Power Tour video. Or I'll find some stuff to do this evening. Even if I miss the venue, I will still salvage my evening. At least that's my plan. Because I'm positive. I believe Interstate 40 is still the heaviest traveled interstate east-west in the country. Runs from, I think... Wilmington, North Carolina, all the way out to Los Angeles, if my memory serves me correct. Uh, I have driven the whole way out there on 40. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Not not once you get past, uh, like once you get past Memphis, it's pretty much boring after that. Um, but that also means it's super, super busy. So major city, super busy, and it's close to busy, busy time of the day. So, oh well. If I don't make it, I don't make it. I'm, I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get my picture there. I'm gonna definitely get there. Whether or not anybody else is there, we'll see. If you haven't watched my day one video, by the way, definitely go back and watch that. It's pretty good. It's really, really long. It's enough for most people to probably be entertained for more than one day. So that's that's why I'm gonna make day two videos so short. It's because I made day, day one super, super long. So I'm gonna make this one short. Making excuses, absolutely. Well, here's a little bit of random hot rod knowledge. How about this little thing that nobody loves? That's a Celica GTS. It's got a 2ZZ GE motor in it. Revs to 8,200 RPMs from the factory. Six-speed manual transmission. Fun little vehicle. Also, consequently, the same exact engine that's in my Pontiac Vibe GT. <laughs> if you didn't know anything about Pontiac Vibe GTs, now you know one more thing. traffic but at least we're moving at highway speed so here we go let's see if I can get there before they say absolutely no you cannot come in the show I don't know whether or not this is gonna work don't do what I do folks I am a trained idiot don't try this at home or on your power tour
for those of you who actually made it to the show today, how was it? Tell me. How, how was the experience? How were the lines? How were the people? Did you have a good time? Help me to understand what I missed today. Tell me about all of the great things that happened while you were at Hot Rod Power Tour Day 2, 2024. Uh, I have seen quite a few Power Tourers going that way. Nobody else going this way. Guess I'm the only idiot still not there yet. Uh, don't, don't do this, folks. Don't do this. Hey, at least it's a beautiful day, though. Hopefully everybody had a good time. Sorry. This is going to be completely lost on most of you, but hey, look. An Infiniti QX80. Excuse me. That was an interesting move. Apparently he wanted to come over when he wasn't supposed to. But yeah, hey. It's an Infiniti QX80. Maybe I should run them down and ask if they've had their timing fixed on that car. How about the high pressure fuel pump? Inside joke, we do a lot of those when we've had them sent to us from literally all over the country. Because apparently we're the only people on this face of the earth that know how to fix those dang things. Which is funny given you wouldn't think that's kind of in our wheelhouse, but it absolutely is. Inside joke. Probably not funny. This is the super speedway exit. Doesn't seem like there's much of a line. Woo! That was rough. Here's all of the fallen that didn't make it into the event, usually. So in 22, when it was facing the sun hot, uh, we ourselves actually ended up sitting in those trees for a couple of hours because all of this was just parking lot. You could not get into this venue. Um, it was a complicated situation, but you literally couldn't get in. And I don't know how long the line was. You could go back and watch my video, but it was unbelievably hot. And you literally, there were millions of dollars worth of cars melting down out, in the, out in the, on this road, literally where we are right now. It was a horrible, horrible situation. Long haul. Ride, baby. Thank you, dear. So, pro tech tip, here's how you avoid lines at Hot Rod Power Tour. Go to the show after the show's over. Look, no lines. I'm all by myself. Actually, looks like I picked up two guys behind me. They're, making, they're gonna try to get in here before this place is over too. Good for us, good for us team. Well, there's still some power tours in there for sure. All right. Good, 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 good. I'm gonna assume that I get in here the same way I got in here last time. No line at all, look at that. Yeah, 
there's still people here. There's still a lot of people here. That's great. That is fantastic. I'm not the only one here. Coming in hot. Tell my deep my GPS to shut up. We made it. We made it, boys. Maybe not by much, but we made it. We are in the show. Here we go. We absolutely made it. I am going to sneak myself in here and get a picture of my truck in front of the stage. Is what I'm going to do. Shh, don't tell anyone. See instead of the Ford. The reliable AMC. Yeah. I like to hear that. They don't die. You can't kill them. Load the truck. Thank you. Now, normally this place would be hopping and packed, but as you can see, everybody is packing away. I did indeed miss essentially the entire show, but I'm here. I did it. And I've got proof. <laughs> Just going to idle our way around here. Hey there. How are you guys doing? Right on time. Yes, sir. You got jet skiing again this morning? No, I did not. I went out last night in Nashville. And I had a very complicated evening slash morning. Oh boy. Yes, we'll talk about it later. Everything good? Not on camera. Okay. Well, I got my cooling issue fixed. Good for you. So, and uh, got the tune a little more dialed and a couple other things, but doing all right. Nothing like tuning it on the road on Hot Rod Power Tour. I just got it up and running and it was enough to get down here, so. There you go. It, it needs a little bit more, but it's in the right direction. As long as you're moving forward. That's all that matters. Exactly. Austin. What's up, man? I can't even see you. You're in the, the sun. The other Austin. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> 29,241. Still got me beat. I'm getting there. Oh, yeah, keep your head right there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. I did bring the MR2 this year. She's uh, up to 17,000 miles on her. Holy cow. That's crazy. <laughs> Rolled it this morning on the way here. Good for you. Good for you. They're meant to be driven. Exactly. I had to get that into my own head. Yeah. This thing was like, I've always been like, nope, 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 nope. And I was like, you know what? What else am I going to do? Drive the tank thing. Exactly. Go make some memories and have a good time with it. You're supposed to enjoy them. Yes. Why do you think I brought the Supra for three years? Yeah, Wait, I get it. 18 years to get one? Fuck yeah, man. Exactly. <laughs> I'm going to drive the wheels off this tank thing. Yeah. You take it easy, man. We'll I'll catch you later. Absolutely. We'll be back with those guys in just a minute. FYI, just so you know, and I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I am just a normal person like you guys are. Yes, I do stuff on YouTube, and yes, you may have recognized me on YouTube, but I'm just the normal dude. Like, there's nothing special about me uh, other than the fact that my stupidity is on the Internet and your stupidity may or may not be on the Internet. That's it. It's the only difference. So feel free to come up and talk to me if you've seen me, if you watch the videos, if you know who we are, if what we do. Come up and say hi. What's up, guys? Please do. I appreciate it. Makes me feel good about myself. Okay? Thanks. 
I'm gonna go get my ticket punch, which I think I get done right here. I gotta do this without copyrighted music in the background, so I just need to keep on talking. Let's punch these things and get this done. I can go four seconds before I get in trouble. There we go. There we go. Now I can't do two at a time. Yeah. Mission accomplished. Thank you. It was dirt spotless this morning. I don't know what your definition of spotless is, but it's not that. I said was. Holy cow. That, Where did, that, did you that's what it looked like this morning. That's how plain it was. Where did you go? Literally, when I pulled in, they made us park across the street in the field. Oh, no. It was no. all dirt roads. So you're, you're rolling the whole time, and you've got guys with their side dumps, dust just flying everywhere. And it, yeah. So i got to try and spray it off tonight, clean it up again for tomorrow. That's terrible. Yeah. Oh, that hurts my soul. That's, oh. <laughs> yeah. It, it looks like we had a blast though. It looks like you had a great time out rednecking around in the dirt. It's a shame the car is really nice. That's the legendary Austin Morgan. It is. Uh, nice to see you, sir. How are you? We gonna race? Huh? Sure. Okay. content we can't use. Right? It's a great service. Got to hit the switches. Hell yeah. <laughs> Lucky Costa, ladies and gentlemen. Great dude. If you don't know him, you should. Purrs like a kitten. So much horsepower. So much horsepower. Maybe 12. How, how comfortable is it? It's really good, actually, except my dad's a slob, so his side of the car always looks like this. Somehow. I get it, I get it, I get it. He, he, he dances. It's weird. But the car's great. Uh, I think we might be able to get the AC to work tonight, because, I mean, everything else works. I mean, even the dome light. It's an AMC. It sat for 30 years. It's an AMC. And I didn't even have to bleed the brakes. It's an AMC. I know, but not bleeding the brakes after 30 years is wild. That's pretty impressive. It was a rusty master cylinder. I just dumped brake fluid in it and started working on it. Pump your foot a couple times Crazy. and it's fine. Crazy. Just remember not to put water on it after midnight. Yeah, don't do that. Don't, <laughs> don't feed the gremlin. She's got a little... A little bit. A little sputter. But you rev it up and the dynamic compression fixes it. So I think it's got like a bad valve or something. So static compression, not great. So what you need to do is you just dial up the idle speed. It'd be perfect. <laughs> but it kind of makes it sound like it's hot routed just a little bit. Like yeah, it's, it's got a cam in it. I understand. The road's great. We have some AMC conversations to have. Oh, yeah. Your dad and I were discussing some things. We need to have some you AMC conversations. Have yeah, up. some heads. AMC I heard. Yeah, I got them for like 700 bucks, like 4600 bucks. Together? 700 bucks? <laughs> yeah, I couldn't say no. No kidding. Huh. Yeah, good to know. I think the cyclone. We need to we need to talk. Thank you. Yeah, I'm all about it, man. I got I got big plans and not enough time or money. I, so, that's life. That's life. Yeah, 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 yeah. For make sure. YouTube videos, they said. <laughs> fun, they said. Yeah, make more YouTube videos. I'm losing more money than I'm making I'm making cars. <laughs> this math is not mathing. <laughs> Look at that. Sally's speed shop. Look at this little gremlin. This was the Plan B car, because apparently the Ford broke. Yeah, it's a Ford. 
Look at that looker. Yeah, it's at, uh, in a backyard in Colorado for 30 years. Bon Carbo, Colorado, a town of about 150 people at 5,000 feet of elevation. So it uh, preserved the yeah. car like everything still works. That's amazing. Awesome. It had more mice nests in it than I've ever seen, but none of the wires were chewed up. Did they I, just eat the padding? I couldn't even see the engine. It was so full of stuff. <laughs> Colorado varmints don't like wires. They don't like wires. Colorado varmints. Well, they could be much more economic or like ecologically friendly there. Yeah, they could be. They're, they're Colorado varmints. I don't get it. But uh, it's a great car, honestly. They only eat recyclable material. I will say, for some reason, it despises its own air cleaner so much that if you even put it in the car, inside, the, the engine turns off. <laughs> so it runs no air cleaner. You're running naked. Dude, you did not do anything to this thing. No, just some we wires to hot wire it. Gasket on it. Oh, yeah, valve cover gasket. And we did find it. vegetation in the engine when I changed the valve cover gasket and I just left it in there. <laughs> it was happy. I Look, mean, there's green cylinder. stuff. There's organic matter in the, in the engine. We're going green. Uh, we did put a radiator in it because it blew up two miles into the drive. Okay. The water pump also disintegrated. Yeah. But everything else functioned perfectly. You, well, you know I love uh, ratty AMCs that may or may not kill you on power tour. We're going to charge the AC later, so we put an adapter fitting on it. But I had never seen these. These are apparently called service valves yeah. on York compressors. You can actually shut off the flow so you could replace the compressor without, without losing leading the your system. But apparently there's also an on position that doesn't allow you to add Freon. There's a middle position that lets you add Freon. So I learned something new today. There's oh, no straighter valve in here. Gotcha. Weird. Okay. A little bit of random stuff. Well, you if you need about. another AMC nutball... Like one of the biggest AMC nutballs I know is working at Haltech. Ooh. That sounds exciting. He's literally like the leader of Ohio AMC, Kentucky AMC, all those guys. He sounds like He's a good guy to know. Yeah, we'll have to have a conversation. Haltech's cool too. They do some cool stuff. This is not getting Haltech. No. I wouldn't put anything worth more than $3 on this car. Hey, it's getting you through power. And so far. So far. All we had was a tire disintegrated, which it's one of the few new things we put on the car. And so it, it blew up today. It that slipped sucks. a belt and shredded immediately. And we went to this random little place called Mr. Tire Farmer Co-op. And they had a 14-inch tire because that's hard to buy. Like a trailer tire? It's, it's a real car tire. And they put it on in like 10 minutes and we're good to go. Okay. So you have one new tire. Well, well I mean, they're all new, but one, one broke recently. So that one's even newer than the other ones. So this is a Mastercraft. Yeah, the Stratus, Stratus AS, AS, probably. Yep. Stratus AS. Stratus AS. I don't know. Probably made in Taiwan or something. Okay. Dude, it's beautiful. Good for you. One thing you're gonna. Where are you from? You're from Ohio, right? Yeah. You're gonna hate this. That's all just oh, sound look deadening. Look at floorboards. Look at look at the paint still. Look at you got floors. Yeah, look. Uh, the only rust on this car is where it right. got thrown up off Hang the on road. Hang on a second. So close your door and open it. Oh, don't. You don't want to know that. Does it? <laughs> do the it, door hinges? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Uh, okay. I feel better. Yeah. It's got the cool. Like, it's still perfect though. Windows. It's perfect. It's rare according to some other AMC people. It's perfect. I love it. I love it. It's a good car. Yes. I, I've driven a lot of cool stuff over the years. Like even the Javelin, which is crazy. But, yeah full tube chassis race car this gets more attention and it is not a chick magnet by any stretch no. of the imagination it is an old dude magnet <laughs> that everybody's yep. brother had one in high school yep. and they did something stupid with it yep and uh you cannot go to a gas station without people telling you they they love this car yep. and they have great memories with them and yep. that's amc in general but the gremlin on another level absolutely so. absolutely well it's i'm glad you're people. i'm glad you're bringing it yeah, yeah, it's the people's car. Yeah, that's a different, that's a different story. <laughs> this one's a little more American. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up because my battery is almost dead, and I have had a very long day, even though you didn't get to see most of it. Believe me, it was a really long day. Uh, we're going to go to dinner and do some things, and then I, I'm i downtown again, so I guess I'm going to have to go do some shenanigans on Broadway again. So... Uh, I promise I will start a little bit earlier tomorrow, and I will. I have a long-ish drive tomorrow. I'm here to Louisville, uh, and then there's definitely some good food in my uh, evening on in uh, in Louisville. But I'll see you there. That'll be day three. Yeah, day three. Hot Rod Power Hero 2024. Take it easy. We'll see you. Bye bye.
I guess I don't mind if I do. The little truck still got it. No drama at all. Right foot down, point straight. That's all there is to it. Derek, I dusted you. <laughs> he was racing, I promise you. He knew it, he knew we were racing. Awesome rolling car show. Hundreds of miles. One of the best parts about Hot Rod Power Tour. And the people. Lots of great people. Actually, something I want to address. Um, whoa, Jesus. That was a gigantic bump. And the suspension on this truck is, you know, old. And it wasn't good to begin with. Um, I am doing a long haul, which means I'm doing every single day. You have to go, you check in, you do the thing, whatever. That's how that works. You don't have to do long haul. You can do a one day thing. So the people that I just filmed a minute ago are headed back east towards Knoxville because they're local Tennessee folk, according to their license plates. If you can't do the long haul, if you can't take five days or six or seven days or a week or two weeks out of your life, to be able to do the long haul, then don't do it. Do a single day. You're absolutely able to do that. Come out, buy the pass, come out to the venue, experience the thing for one single day, and then go back home. A lot of people will do that, especially their very first time. If there's a local stop that's near you, you know, an hour, two, three, four hours away, if you want to go out for the day and do the car show thing and enjoy the experience and then turn around and come home and then go back on about being an adult and being responsible, absolutely do it. That's definitely a great idea. So just when you're watching these videos, don't think you have to do the long haul. You can absolutely do single day stuff. And a lot of times those are a big portion of the people that come out. Yeah, there's the people that are gonna do long hauls, the platinums, the golds, and the, you know, those people. But there's a lot of single day people as well. So don't feel like you're pressured that you have to do the big long thing. You absolutely don't. All right, I promise I'm gonna shut up now. Maybe. There may be more bonus material after this. I don't know, we'll see.